Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for June, 8, June 11th through the 18th. Typically my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up for you. Um, keep in mind that this may or may not resonate and the timing is fluid. This could have already happened. This may be happening now or it could be happening in the future. We're going to get an oracle card from this deck and an oracle card from that deck. If it flips over while shuffling, you'll get to see it now. Otherwise, you will see it at the end. If you'd like to book a private reading, you can find the information below. Please keep all bashing out of the comments. I don't want to hear any shit about another sign under there. Thank you for understanding. Sign of Libra. What does Libra need to know, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? What does Libra need to hear this week? The situation involves marriage. Now, this can go so many different ways, okay? This could be the person that you want to marry. This could be that you're in a marriage you don't want to be in. This could be that um, you want somebody that is married. This could go many ways. Either way, we'll leave it at that and we'll keep going. Sorry, I'm all here. My cat jumped up a minute ago. And decided he wanted some love. So, I don't know. This is for the sign of Libra. What does Libra need to know this week? new beginning and it's a you have a fresh start on the horizon you know and I feel like you're probably feeling very vibrant this week you're probably feeling very enthusiastic you know excited about something you are probably looking very beautiful um, but things may be happening quickly so there could be some um, something that is happening um, to move you forward, to uh, give you a fresh start. Something is happening. Perhaps to help you get over some sort of emotional hurt. Somebody could be charging in in your direction and offering you a fresh beginning because you're so beautiful. This is man or woman, whatever. But you may not be so open to it. Let's see what the hell this is. Yeah, I think that you guys aren't quite healed over a breakup. Okay, you're not. You may be fear, fearing uh, <coughs> a false foundation. You could be fearing getting involved with another person because of what has happened in the past. And things may be happening a little fast. Yeah, you're probably going through some struggles, some some conflicts, some inner conflicts within your mind. Um, there's definitely some temptation here. There is... Huh, I'm going to get some more cards. There's definitely some sort of passion that is coming out. Somebody is probably really passionate about you. Okay. Um, you're probably... You're probably... Um, not completely healed over the past hurt. Put it that way. You're still, you're still hurting, almost like reeling over some past breakup. You know, you're not healed from it yet. You're still suffering from that. But I think that you're tempted to move on or, you know, there's some sort of temptation that is probably giving you an opportunity for a new start. But I think you fear, you fear getting involved because of your own inner conflicts right now i feel as though 
you're unable to take the step towards this person that you really should take, or you, or I'm not saying, well, I'm saying should, but that you could take because you're still hurting over the past. I think that there's some chains with your past that you have not completely freed yourself from yet. And it feels as though you are probably being pursued pretty heavily by another person. And you're tempted. You're tempted, but you're, you're still conflicted by it. Okay? It's almost like you're afraid that you don't want to play games with anybody. It's like, no, I don't want to play any games. I'm, I'm really scared. So let me get this zoomed in and then we'll go further. There is an opportunity for a fresh start, a new beginning here. There is. But you have these fears of sacrifice. And, um, you know, maybe you've been free for a while and you're scared to give up your freedom. That could certainly be the case. It feels as though, you know, right now you're lacking balance in your life. So because of the hurt and the heartache that you've been through and because the chains haven't been severed yet, you're still lacking balance, um, and you're afraid to bite off more than you can chew at this time. But I think that you you have a lot of confidence this week, and you're probably um, very oh, beautiful, okay? And so you are definitely drawing in some sort of oh, lust, perhaps, um, but you don't have faith in a commitment at this point. It's like, yeah, I think that you lack faith in any kind of commitment. I think you're really, really scared. You're scared that it's just lust. You're scared that it's just sex, you know. Somebody's probably charging in very quickly and they're very tempting because there's a strong attraction. But that's what the devil brings in. They bring in this attraction to tempt you. And I feel like you, you're really... Um, going through some inner conflicts as to whether this person is even honest and truthful or what the hell they're after. I think you lack faith in this connection. Um, yeah, you do. It's like you're not, you're afraid of being taken advantage of. You're like, what the hell do you have up your sleeve? I know that you're not in this for the long term. And I feel like you're, you're afraid that this person is just going to bring burdens into your life. And I have to tell you, I think you're probably right. I think your intuition is, is probably right on, and that's why you don't have faith in this connection. I think it is probably just a sexual connection, and you know it doesn't lead to happily ever after, and you know it. You know it. So I feel like um, right now there is, you feel like you've been defeated by past hurts, therefore you're not really ready to... Um, sacrifice yourself for another person that isn't in it for the long term you know but you you do have an opportunity for a fresh start but I think that a lot of you are thinking you know this is a time of liberation for me because the ten of swords is reversed um you know it's a time of freedom and I'm not sure I want to give that up right now for somebody who just wants to have sex with me and I'm sorry that's what I keep saying but that's what I see if you know we have 10 10 10 we have a 10 of swords under this 10 of cups 10 10 and then the 10 10 10 10 completion 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 two of them are reversed some of you are still holding on to the burdens of the past you haven't completely let it complete even though it's completed you know what i'm saying okay you haven't you have it has completed but you but you haven't let it completely complete you know you haven't completely cut the chains cut the cords so you do have a new opportunity, but because you're still holding on, you ha you're still holding on to the burdens, the baggage that that relationship brought to you. You're not free to have this fresh start with this new person, and you think that they have tricks up their sleeve. With the magician card reversed, it appears that they do have tricks up their sleeve, and they're probably only, and I mean, it's right here next to this devil card. They probably are only looking, they're manipulating you probably for whatever, lust, lust reasons, okay, so I feel as though you're looking for, uh, if anything, you're, you're looking for a, a real commitment, and if it isn't a real commitment, then you'd probably rather be alone, I think that right now you don't have hope and faith in love at this time, because 
the cycle that you have been in that you've been holding on to for so long isn't completely ended yet. You haven't completely healed, especially with that three of swords. You haven't found all the resources within you to heal. You haven't. You're still holding on to that baggage. So I feel like right now you're working on your own contentment, on your own. Somebody sees your beauty. They see all the work that you've done and they're trying to charge in and uh, tempt you, put it that way. Um, yeah, you'll probably have a choice between two people, a Taurus, Virgo, Cap, or you're thinking about two people, or you're in love with one person and the other one is after only one thing. Anyway, there is two people here. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody is very self-centered, conceited, they have a big ego, and, you know, and this could be their, their moon sign, fire sign, whatever. Our moon sign, rising sign, Venus sign, whatever, these signs. Anyhow, I feel like you're dealing with a person that is into only one thing, and you know it, and you're trying to be practical, you're trying to be stable, and you're still feeling defeated over something that was stable and secure at one time. You're still, you're not healed. You're not healed. Therefore, you've lost your faith, and it feels like you can't deal with this person who... is only looking for short-term attention. This is like an attention seeker, somebody who needs attention, but it's not a keeper in reverse, not somebody who's going to stay. This person is a keeper, um, and it feels as though you're probably trying to discern the situation to step back and focus on who, what, when, and where. You know, you're trying to really come to grips with what your future holds at this time. I feel like right now it's probably a time of solitude. I saw the freedom. I see the liberation, you know, where you're probably deciding that, you know, you want to be a free spirit right now as you continue to heal from this betrayal that you've been through. And you could have been through a betrayal with a with an earth sign. I'm not sure. But it feels like right now, you know, you're, you're, you'd are probably like a start over with this person. This could be any sign. It feels like you would like a start over, but you're not completely ready to move on with anybody else because you haven't healed. But anyway, um, the Hermit card is taking a time out to become aware of what is gonna, what's really going to make you happy in the future because we have these this hopes and wishes in the Ten of Cups right here. And what is holding you back? You really need to take this time, and I think you have been. You've been taking a lot of time to close a door. Nines are closure. To close a door to the past, which I don't think it really has been closed yet. You haven't completely found the strength to do that. You haven't. The re All the resources. I feel like there's a lack of self-esteem and a lack of self-worth here as well. And you're still holding on to past baggage. Perhaps as a protection tactic because you fear sacrificing yourself to anybody that isn't in it for the long haul because of this past defeat that you've been in. But anyway, I feel as though this is a week of becoming aware, really taking that time out to really taking that time out to seclude yourself. And I mean really seclude yourself to figure out what is holding you back. What is this baggage? What are these burdens that are, are keeping you from... Um, moving on from having hope and faith and love you know what is what is it that you still need to heal because you are still you still are hurting over something you are you haven't been able to to uh find the resources within to to completely heal you haven't so i feel like this is a week of taking that serious time out to step back and focus on your inner being um you know to go within to go within and restrain yourself so that you can restore the faith in the future. And it could take more than a week, okay? There is some closure that is needed that hasn't happened with the with the three tens. You know, the, 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 the closure needs to happen. It does. And it could take more time. You, know, you guys haven't completely moved on. You haven't. There's like, there's like a loss of direction here with the chariot reverse. Somebody has lost their direction. They've lost their will. They've lost their will to have a fresh start, to take a risk, 
okay? You have an opportunity to take a risk and have a new beginning elsewhere, but I don't think you're ready. I really don't. I feel like right now you're confused. You have a lot of fear, and you're you're trying to see the re or you need to see the reality of what is happening and what has happened and you need to accept the reality and you can't escape it forever and I think that because the moon is an escape card you've been trying to escape this reality for quite some time and I feel like it's caused this loss of self and loss of direction you need to find the ability to master your emotions the chariot card is about mastering your emotions again finding that strength you need to find the ability to master your emotions and move away from this negative thinking this you know whatever it is you do you need to move forward but you haven't been able to move forward you haven't been able to move forward from somebody that you were committed to and therefore you are not living in reality and I do apologize but that is what this is I feel like there you have reached a dead end situation and now it's time to let that old thing die I do apologize because you do have you are being you do have an opportunity for a fresh new start. It's time for you to start over. It's time for you to go on a new spiritual journey. It's a fresh start. Look at it as a fresh new start, as a time of liberation. Let the past die. Let it die. Let it go because you have a new opportunity waiting for you. You do. Now, I don't know what this means, but I feel as though somebody here has an opportunity to let go of the baggage and take a risk elsewhere. You probably have somebody coming in very fast and heavy that is very that you are attracted to. You're tempted, but you're letting fear of being taken advantage of, fear of not... Um, being loved or getting in a false foundation hold you back okay your the fears of the past hurts are holding you back from contentment and marriage okay because this could be marriage and here we have this wedding card so there's an opportunity for a future with someone else but you can't entertain it because you haven't healed from the past change change and I have to show you what's on the bottom the four of pentacles you're holding on to something that you shouldn't be holding on to it's an obsession that you must let go of anyway it's time for a change Libra it is you have a new exciting opportunity and you're scared to death to take it but it could lead to marriage that's why the wedding card came out but you have to let go of the past obsession and you have to restore the faith that has been lost in love. The last one didn't work out for a reason. It was a blessing in disguise and you're not seeing that because the tower is reversed. It was a blessing in disguise. Anyway, it's time to accept this change. Accept this change. You are probably... You know, you've made a lot of progress and you're probably vibrating very high at this time and you're calling in a partner. You are. But you're afraid to get hurt. Let these burdens go. There's an opportunity for change that could lead to a commitment if you could let go of the past. Talk to you later.